why the truck. Damn it. Welcome back to another POV video. Um, today I'm in a location I've never been and I'm going to shoot with the Canon M50. I have my uh, little rain protection. Uh, with the Canon M50, with the Viltrux 56 mm f1.4. Uh, I did a couple of tests but I wasn't really happy with uh, the results because it was a little bit soft. Also, I'm going to reply to some of your questions uh, because I s posted a story on Instagram and uh, asking you to ask me anything you wanted so I'm gonna try to do my best and uh, yeah let's go So the first question was by Charlie and Marin. What was my favorite lens? Um, most of the time I'm using the uh, 85 millimeter f1.8 from Viltrox. And I also use the Tamron 7180. I like a telephoto lens because it helps me to get some, uh, some candid shots. Do you usually go for a walk with a specific team in mind? Uh, not really. I usually go for one specific shot. And then uh, I simply uh, No, usually what I do is I go and uh, just spend some time outside just because I want to clear my head and um, yeah I just go out and shoot and see what I get and, but there are many times where I went out because I had a specific shot in mind and then I capture a little bit of the rest uh, So uh, yeah, I usually select one location to go and shoot one specific shot. And then I just wander in the location. But uh, yeah, I think I should probably have a team in mind a bit more. Just like uh, maybe it's just shadows or reflections or stuff like that. I usually don't do that because otherwise I feel a little bit blocked by uh, what I want to do and what I want to shoot. Uh, I just go with the flow and uh, 
simply have fun, shoot. The next question, you probably wonder what I'm doing, but uh, don't worry. Next question is from Sebastian Jubinville, which is my Canadian friend. He asked me, when are we finally going to meet? Sebastian, uh, I hope soon, very soon, I hope the borders are going to open again and that we will be able to, uh, no, not that directly, uh, that we will be able to uh, meet and travel again so I can come over to uh, Canada. Why the truck? So, so far About the lens um, So it's a sh it's a nice lens, but not the sharpest. At least not wide open. So so far, it's not the sharpest lens I've, I've used. I have to say, at least not wide open. Uh, wide open, it's very, very soft. Um, and there's a lot of color fringing. Next question isn't really a question. It's from my friend NTX, which is saying rainy moody pics are the best. Uh, yeah, I agree. I'm not very uh, really into shooting in the rain, etc. I don't like to be wet, but uh, yeah, I can agree. It's uh, it's fun, and I'm happy. I I came out for a little shoot, a little uh, POV. It's not the best location to uh, to shoot because there's not a lot of happening. But at least I went out and I decided to take some photos. a little bit 
closer would have worked a little bit better I think purpose. almost have no battery left so I'm gonna go back I'm gonna answer the last question before I ask the first couple of shots are always crap because every time you have to go back in the mood of shooting and be comfortable again then acclimatate to the location uh, try to find simple compositions centering maybe people walking uh, in front of a door or maybe in front of a window um, for example, uh, there's this building there. Right now I'm, I'm a little bit far, but uh, wait. And here there's a, there's a door. That's a little bit complicated. I'm gonna try, ah, okay. Here, you see that lady there, up. Done. She's uh, passing in front of that building. She's walking across. You try to center it. You shoot a couple of shots before when she's centered and then a little bit more and then you're uh, you have maybe some kind of good picture i don't know i have to look at it in lightroom um but that's one way to do it uh look for leading lines for example the the sidewalk or this this thing here So you have that guy, it follows this line, I'm gonna do it again, see there's a guy on the, on the other side. And that's just it, I, I'm, probably this one isn't good because my focus point was all over the place but you can see the concept. You start with framing, uh, you can do dirty compositions like uh, let's say I want to shoot that car well I'm gonna maybe 
do something like this with the pole here and I'm just focusing on the detail rules of third are a thing so as you can see on my screen here I have nine squares which is two lines vertical two lines horizontal always try to have something on those lines which is the rule of third that's also uh, one way to do it I'm gonna try to find something to show you so I have these two guys here uh, so all those subjects are on one line and then on another line that's a way to compose there's a lot of compositions possible the rule of third is one of the easiest uh, you have the golden ratio which is a spiral uh, when I shoot product photography in fact it's not a rule of third it's following diagonal lines so two from the right corners and one big line from the top left to the bottom right it's not always the best to do the, the rule of third but it's the easiest and the one you can learn from simply spend a lot of time in the area don't try to act actually do everything to get a shot if you have three photos that are worth it it's a good thing if you have one photo well at least you have one photo just try fail repeat and my battery died so so my battery died so i'm gonna go back and i hope you enjoyed this video i'm gonna make the review about the lens which is the Viltrox 56 millimeter f1.4 I have a couple things to say about it and then uh, yeah I'll see you in the next one see ya